Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, we are doing a quick, I'm just gonna basically show you quickly how I draft my tabs on my sleeves as well as the flaps for my um, bodice section right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. But don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this drafting process. All right, so I'm gonna show you the modifications that I'm gonna make to Butterick 6702, which is the first dress in the Battle of the Shirt Dress series. So I picked this pattern because I know most people will not pick this pattern as a shirt dress pattern. And because I have done Butterick 6640 already, um, I wanted to choose a different pattern for Butterick that's kind of newer um, as well. So I chose this pattern and I'm gonna make a couple of modifications. So I'm gonna show you the first modification I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a dot for me to add on a tab and then I'm gonna also draft a flap instead of going to run and get another pattern because I don't have time to do that because I wanna post this dress pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is from the top or the sleeve cap, I'm gonna come down 15 and a quarter inch from that top and I'm just gonna make a dot. And that's all I'm going to do. So basically my dot is all the way down here. So when I transfer, transfer, um, the dot. Now, the reason why it's 15 and a half is because this is the cutting line for view A, which is the view that I'm doing, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it long sleeves so I can roll it up and have that um, tab to keep it uh, rolled up really, really good. Um, and the reason why I want long sleeve is because I can wear it both in the fall time or the winter time as well as the summertime. So this is the first modification that I'm doing and that's creating a dot for the tab. The next modification that I'm going to do is I'm going to draft flaps, a flap for the bodice um, to put flaps. I'm not putting on pockets on the bust area, but I will um, do um, side seam pockets. So the first thing I'm going to do is the second thing I'm going to do is draft flaps. So I want my flaps. You could draft, you know, whatever size that you want, but I want my flaps to be about five inches across and um, about six. I'm going to draft it five by seven. Now just note that you guys are seeing me do this live. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna do five inches across. And then I'm gonna do six, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do six and a quarter of the way across. So this is my quarter. And then I'm gonna do five inches up and down. So I'm gonna put this there and then five inches up and down because it has to fold onto itself, it's going to make it two and a quarter inch and then minus the seam allowance as well. So it's gonna be about two inches. So I wanna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that your lines are matching up. So I wanna do five inches up and down. And then I'm just gonna close out my box. Now I'm also going to go to the middle of the flap and then create, and because this is five inches, I'm gonna make a dot at two and a half on both sides. And then make a line across. And that would be my fold line. So I'm going to write fold line and then I'm just going to put flap. And then you also need to mark your buttonhole. So you're going to measure up and down. Once again, that should be five inches. So you're going to go to about two inches or one and a half. I would say one and a half mark it. And then you're just going to make a buttonhole line for your flap. 
just make right there at the top. And then if you want, you could just put some dots right here so you know where you want to mark your dots. And that's it. Now you just need to create your grain line, which your grain line needs to be like that. And you could mark grain line here. And then the only thing you need to do is mark it, cut to a fabric, and then cut two of interfacing. And you have a flap that you could put on your, um, the bust part of your anything really. You could put it on a top, you could put it on your shirt dress, that's completely up to you. But this is the second thing that I am uh, self-drafting for my shirt dress. Now I'm gonna move my paper over to show you the last thing I'm gonna draft is I'm gonna draft a tap. Now I want my tap to be roughly about um, seven by two. So I'm just gonna draft it down here, just move the paper up so you can see. And I'm going to mark seven inches And then I wanna do two inches high. So now I did seven inches, but I forgot this ruler is three inches. So I'm gonna just bring this down like this and mark seven inches. All right. I hope you can see this in the camera. All right. So now if you notice that I did not close it up, but go ahead and close up the other end as well. But I want my tab to have a little definition. So what I'm gonna do is measure about five and three fourths, which is right here, top and bottom. About right there, all right. Now I'm just gonna draw a light line right here. Now I'm gonna mark the middle part, point of that line. Which would be somewhere right there. And what I want to do is I want to make my um, tab go in like a little diagonal. So I'm just gonna bring that line back to right there. Now what I'm gonna do is take this line to that line to make a diagonal. And then I'm gonna do that to the other side as well, go from this middle point to that line. All right, so now when I cut it out, I will not cut out any of this right here. I would just basically make sure that I cut on this line right here and this line, and it would be a tab that looks like a arrow, <laughs> per se, all right? You could get rid of all the other lines if you would like. You could just go ahead and um, erase it, basically. And then what you want to do now, what I'm going to do is, because I can see it, I'm gonna make a little dot right there in the center. And that basically just tells me that that's where I need to stop when I sew and then pivot. I need to make sure that I stop at that when I sew them together, right sides together. I need to stop at this dot and then pivot. All right. Now, the only thing I have to do is label and put my grain line in. So my grain line is going up and down. And then I'm going to label this tab. And then I'm going to cut four of fabric and two of interfacing. Now make sure that for this tab, you use three eighths of an inch seam allowance. You do not want to use five eighths on the um, tab because it will be too small and I don't want a small, uh, 
seam allowance for my tab so I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to cut this out and I will use this piece as well as my flap in order to put on my shirt dress if I have enough fabric. So I created this not knowing if I have enough fabric but I'm hoping I do. So those are the two modifi the three modifications that I am making to this pattern. All right, so there you have it. That is how I draft my tabs for my sleeves and the flaps on my bodice. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. And if you have any further questions, don't forget to leave them in the description box below so I could go ahead and comment and share any experiences that you may have, any difficulties, something that I need to explain more. Please leave it in the the in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep sewing.